and saying just how wonderful weddings are uh, as happy occasions where old and new friends and family come together to celebrate a joyous event. And this wedding, of course, is no exception, uh, especially because it's uh, one of my best friends in all the world getting married to the love of his life. Um, and it's my honor to be here today to, to, celebrate, uh, to celebrate that wedding. Molly is truly a remarkable woman. Uh, I first met her in 2005 when I came down to Jacksonville over spring break to visit Marcus. Uh, even from that short visit, I can tell a couple of things about Molly. First of all, she was a warm, caring, genuine person who was fun to be around. Second, if she could put up with the kind of crazy debates that Marcus and I had when we got together, she had to be great. And third, and most importantly, I could see how she loved Marcus. And over time, uh, that love grew stronger. Uh, most importantly, uh, even, even the years, even over the years, uh, the love remained strong and grew stronger enduring the distance, even from Florida to Japan. Through it all, the two of them grew closer, um, forging the most essential, foundational kind of love, the kind of love that makes two people more than they otherwise would be. Molly, thank you for being such an amazing person, and thank you for taking care of my friend. And speaking of my friend, Marcus, what can I say about a guy who I've known since kindergarten? And uh, although, although we weren't in the same class until second grade, I think, our official meeting time, right? Um, but, but, but what can I say? Well, actually, much of what I could say uh, has been vetoed by both the powers that be uh, and, and the limits of good sense, although a few tidbits did make the cut. If you want to know about the other stuff, you can ask me at the after party. <laughs> Marcus is a man of intelligence. He knows more theme songs from the 1980s TV shows than any other person I've ever met. In, in truth, he'll sing absolutely anything, but, but he can bust out a TV theme song at the drop of a hat. And his knowledge isn't limited to TV uh, songs, though. Uh, he also knows more about the Muppets than anyone over the age of 13. <laughs> And he can liven up any conversation with a well-placed uh, quote from Star Wars. <laughs> Marcus is a man of impeccable fashion taste. His collection of false turtlenecks, or I guess they're called dickies, were the envy of every 8th grader in our middle school. Marcus is also a man of logic. Keith, Andy, Keith's sister Jill and I went down to the Naval Academy for his graduation and afterwards we were going back to his apartment he was giving us directions uh, and he, uh, among those directions he eventually told us that we would come to a traffic circle and he said we would know that we hit the traffic circle because we would be going around. <laughs> Uh, these are not his defining qualities, though, uh, fortunately. Uh, one day, about eight years or so ago, when I was in Connecticut, uh, I got a phone call. I picked up the phone, said hello, and the person on the other end said they were from the Department of Defense. My first reaction was, uh-oh, what did I do this time? My second reaction was, Keith and Andy must have finally taken over the world. <laughs> But then it occurred to me that I had been told I might be getting a call for a character reference because Marcus was getting some kind of security clearance. So he proceeded to ask me how I knew Marcus, how long we've known each other, etc. And then he ended by asking me about Marcus's character. How would I describe him? And I said that Marcus was not only one of the best friends I've ever had, but quite possibly the best person I've ever known. It's really, truly an honor to be his friend. I think it's, it can truly be said that Marcus is the kind of man that everyone hopes their sons will grow up to be. Strong, brave, loyal, kind, and generous. It's, it's my great uh, privilege to be his friend and to help him celebrate this wonderful occasion, the beginning of a new phase of his journey with a wonderful person like Molly. And so a toast, may your journey together be guided by the love you feel for each other on this day and always. May your laughs be many, and your troubles be few. And in the words of a well-known Irish writer, may your life be all of promises, a long day of sunshine, with no harsh wind.
to Marcus and Molly. Here, here. All right. Congratulations. Thank you, Josh. Now, Kyla. That's her. Uh,